Hello there guys, welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs and today is my four part Fright Nights 2020 lineup speculation video. Now I'm saying this straight off the bat, none of this is confirmed, alright? None of it's confirmed, this is just my own speculation and my personal opinion on what might or I would like to see at four part Fright Nights 2020. So let's kick straight in with what mazes I think or would like to return for this year. So just like the Alton Towers uh, lineup video I did, we're going to be basing it off of what was there last year. So we'll start off with the first maze which I think, and I think everyone thinks is going to come back this year, and that of course is Creek Freak Massacre. Now I absolutely loved Creek Freak Massacre last year. It was Personally, one of my favourite mazes on Park. Um, and it was supposed to be open for the ScareCon event um, this year. Uh, but sadly, it obviously has been postponed. So um, we're not going to be getting back into the Creekwood Sawmill until October. Now, personally, Creek Freak is going to return this year. But... I will not be surprised if we see some sort of changes in there, whether that's some new scenes or whether it's a slightly adapted route or not, we do not know. But yeah, first maze I think that's going to come back, and probably will come back, is Creek Freak Massacre, located in the Old Town in the Old Loggers Leap building. Now the next maze that I think is going to return this year is Containment. Now I did Containment in 2018. And I thought it was pretty brilliant. Or well, I, I personally enjoyed it. It was quite fun. I didn't get to do it last year, despite the new changes that was there. Now the main reason I think uh, containment's gonna come back is because obviously they made changes to it last year, but also it's permanent. Uh, if you remember a few years ago, I think it was for the 2016 season originally, it was supposed to be a permanent attraction, like what Saw Alive was. Uh, and it was about to have a proper queue line system and everything, but uh, nothing ever came of that, so I take it plans were withdrawn. But yeah, I think containment will come back this year, and I think it will be probably the same as last year. Now, I'm going to talk about, obviously, the Walking Dead Living Nightmare space. Of course, uh, the Walking Dead Living Nightmare has now left the park. It was there 2017 to 2019, and it... It's obviously due this season to be replaced by the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, something a lot of people are saying that we could potentially see is Black Mirror sort of having a Halloween, Halloween spruce up for Fright Nights. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen. I honestly don't think that's going to happen. I think that building is just going to be used as Black Mirror. Obviously, when for released the map for this year. Black Metal was confirmed to have no live actors, so that attraction will just be left as a maybe just a, a general open attraction like everything else. So yeah, or if anything I'll be surprised if we get a Halloween version of Black Mirror. Because at this moment in time we're probably not gonna see Black Mirror open until July, maybe August. So you know there's no point changing it when it's only been open a little while, you know. But yeah, comment below, what do you think is going to happen with Black Mirror? Do you think we'll see a Halloween version in that maze? Or We're going to talk about the outdoor mazes. Obviously, Fright Nights 2020 is having some revised opening times this season. So we're going to talk about the two outdoor mazes that were there last year, and that's Platform 15 and Blair Witch. We're going to start off with the one which I personally think, or I would personally would not like to return this year and that and a lot of people may agree with me is Blair Witch now a lot of people said they enjoyed Blair Witch last year me personally after having time to think it over since the event I'm not a huge fan of Blair Witch just due to the premise they had last year on paper it was good but it didn't actually work out, you know. It, it, it was just completely confusing. And quite a lot of people have said that Blair Witch 
should go. And I think it should, really. I think Blair Witch should go, obviously, from close season updates. It, Blair Witch is still all set up, as well as Platform 15. Uh, but personally, I would like to see Blair Witch go and maybe a new outdoor maze. However, on some of the Fright Nights dates this year, the park is closing at 8pm instead of 10 so, and the outdoor maze, well, Blair Witch used to open at 6 o'clock, and Platform used to open at 3 o'clock. Thing is, if Blair Witch does come back, it would have to open at 3 o'clock, otherwise, there is no point in that maze even opening. If anything, I want to see a maze inside Jungle Escape's building this year, because I'm going to be totally honest, I don't think Jungle Escape's going to open when the park reopens. I genuinely don't think it's going to open. It, I have got a video planned on um, sort of talking about what I think, like what changes are going to be at Fort Park when we go, when we go back eventually, hopefully in the summer. Uh, so keep an eye out for that one. Now we're going to talk about the other outdoor maze that was there last year, and that's Platform 15. What can I say about Platform 15 last year? Platform 15 has been my favourite maze for quite a few years. Now, I first did it in 2017 when we first got the Creek Village edition and I've loved it every single year. Last year was good. The ending was actually, I actually got a pretty good ending when, when I went through. Platform 15, do I think it's going to return this year? Yep, 100%. I think Platform 15 is going to return this year. What changes would I like to see? If anything, this is my big theory, and I'm going to be doing a video on this soon as well, is that I would like Platform 15 to use some of Blair Witch, uh, sorry, the Dead Creek Woods slash Blair Witch route. I'd just love to see Platform just get extended, I think. You know, like, if Blair Witch doesn't come back, I'd love to see Platform extended, if anything. Uh, let me know if you agree. Would you like to see an extension of the platform or would you like it just to stay with the route it's got? Saying that, I think the shortest run through I've ever had on platform is about 7 minutes and the longest I've had is about 12 or 13 minutes, almost 15 minutes. And personally, I think it might be platform's final year. A sensitive subject that people are sort of, you know, talking about is the future of The Walking Dead Do or Die. Now, for those who do not know, The Walking Dead Do or Die used to be called The Walking Dead Sanctum, and that used to be located behind the swarm, and then Fright Nights 2018, it was rebranded The Walking Dead Do or Die, and it was moved, uh, moved down to where My Bloody Valentine was in 2015. Now, I liked Do or Die last year, and 2018's Do or Die was decent even though I had really good run-throughs on it. But personally, personally, I think Do or Die is going to come back. However, I think it's going to be its final year. I think we're only going to have one Walking Dead maze at Four Park Five Nights this year. Instead of having two, I think we're only going to have one. That's in my personal opinion, you know. That's my opinion, you can have your own opinions. Now, to finish off, I'm going to talk about Two sort of non scare maze attractions. I'm going to talk about uh, Terra Amity High first. Do I think it's going to come back? Definitely. I think Terra Amity High is going to come back for a third year. Obviously, it was a scare zone in its first year. And then last year, it was a um, live show. Sadly, I didn't get to watch the live show when I was there. But. I think it's going to come back this year because it it went down really well and a lot of people were saying it was one of the best things at Fright Nights. So I think Terra Amity High is going to come back on the Stealth Plaza. And the final thing we're going to talk about is Screamplex Cinema. Now this cinema experience has been there for three years. 2017 it was known as Final Cut, uh, the Final Cut Cinema. That I think was crap. It was just showing Fright Nights trailers and uh, The Walking Dead Season 8, I think it was. It was boring. 
2018 Screenplex Cinema was absolutely crap because when I did it, it broke down. I didn't do it last year. The main reason I didn't do it last year is I avoided it. Mainly due to the past experience I've had with the Halloween sort of films being shown in the Angry Birds 4D cinema. Do I think Screenplex is going to come back this year? No, personally. I don't think it's going to come back. And it's also another subject that's going to be brought up in uh, changes to Fort Park post-coronavirus video that is going to hopefully be coming out soon. So, yeah, that's that's my speculation for Fort Park Fight Nights 2020. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, the next video that I'm planning, or certain video like this that I'm planning, is hopefully I'm going to do a Chesington World of Adventures Halloween um, speculation update. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.